<clears throat> so when we are uh, doing this chin strap stuff, we often end up in a, in a front uh, turtle position. So uh, we'll just be covering some options which involve only attacks from being here, not transitioning uh, to the back. So however we end up here from being in a, a side control chin strap or after rolling over and then my opponent trying to escape, when I end up here, my first option would always be to just slide this hand from the chin to out to get my guillotine. When I do this, it's very important what kind of uh, grip I have. So it is the gable one where my blade is towards the neck of my opponent. You don't wanna do it like this. But from here to this. As I do this now, I'm very strong with this grip, so I'm able to move this arm out of the way. So I lift my opponent a little bit and move the arm out of the way. From there, I step out and I bring my shin across his belly. From there, I want to adjust my grip, so go deep, go for the arm on top and maintain the height while I'm choking my opponent. It is super important not to pull, but to stay up with your shoulder and have this kind of motion where you're making a tight, when you're making a hold stronger, not to squeeze, but to do this. So I'm crunching, my shoulder is next to his neck, and I'm doing this. One more time. So here I have a chin strap and a tricep control. From there, I slide this arm in. Hard part of a blade is next to his arm. Now I move it out of the way, step, go here. Adjust a little bit, block him, and I create pressure. Sometimes my opponent will roll over before I put my uh, my leg behind his back, which actually is very good for me because then when he rolls, he falls on his back and there's nothing for him uh, to, uh, he can't escape anymore because his back, back is blocked. So I get here, slide my arm, go here as I'm transitioning. So look, I'm using this leg to keep control of his hips and roll over. When I roll over, I post with my head on the ground, step next to him and start implementing pressure by posting on my head and both dropping my hips down. While you're don't change the position of your head. You go here and you just follow the roll with having this so I get here, move the arm, here, now he rolls, okay, I'm following constantly. Here, sorry, I adjust it a little bit, and I add the pressure. If I go uh, here, and now from here, see, sort of, He's putting this back, I can't really, you see, I can't connect here. I would choose to go to the other side. So I slide my hand on the other side and cross my hands here. As they're crossed, it is very important that the top arm is sort of in line with his shoulders. If I do this, he's gonna just slide his, out, his head out, yeah. So I have to be here, having this kind of control and getting with my shoulder underneath his armpit. At this angle, I'm able to tip him over and adjust my dart stroke. While I'm adjusting my dart stroke, I really want to post this hand onto my bicep. I don't want to go here and low. I want to flex my bicep and cup uh, strongly this arm. I don't want to come short 
and here you see this is weak when it's up on top of the bicep and i cup it strongly now it's very deep i want to stay on this right elbow and place my hips down and again i'm doing the same motion as when i was submitting from the roll with the chin strap i'm bringing my left elbow towards me so again i am making the space smaller i'm not just squeezing but here i am bringing my elbow towards my shoulder one more time i am here now yeah i can't so i go on the other side slide this arm here grab here closing my elbow next to his shoulder and as i'm here i'm not gonna start pushing the, this way i'm gonna get my angle and now i'm gonna push him over here support the head get my grips high up posting on this elbow drop the hips down now when it's all strong when i'm down with my head i start lifting the elbow of mine when i do this sometimes my opponent can post out and i'm not <clears throat> so guys as i'm in a in a turtle position attacking it so again i couldn't go for army guillotine i switch my grips go here and now when i want to sweep my opponent this way you see he's posting on his arm so it's like getting really hard now i have to go to the other side and all i want to do is i want to go parallel with my opponent so i go here and i keep him tight roll him on the deep on this side and again i want to put him on, on his side and then end up in the same position as previously here again i go deep flex my bicep grab it post on my elbow drop my hips down my head is connected elevate this elbow one more time i am here i want to go for armin guillotine he's defending i change get this way want to sweep him it doesn't work because he's posting i go parallel and pull him towards me having this elbow connected roll all over till he's on the side when he's on the side i adjust a bit cup the bicep put my hips down my head is connected elevate my elbow okay so those are basically two ways of locking with two variations there is one more option where you can go for a pretzel grip and it is the one where i'm just cupping here um, from the beginning but my opponent goes and grips around with this arm as he wants to sort of like go for the leg or whatever now i can't do the options where i'm gonna go for arming or this because he's blocking here yeah when that's the case, I'm just gonna go and start pulling my opponent towards me. When he, we are here, I'm gonna change for a pretzel grip. It is the grip where you sort of looking onto your watch on the arm, which is around the neck. So I, I have a chin strap like this, sorry, like this, and then I'm connecting my hands and doing this. So I'm pushing with my wrist into his neck. He's around, I'm here, I'm pulling, I'm getting him here. When I get in here, I just made a, make a squeeze like this where uh, I can choke him out. One more time, I am here controlling, he goes around. So I use the chin strap to pull him a bit and then in that transition, I change my grips. As I change my grip, now I just choke him with this kind of motion. What can happen? He can start circling 
around again and again I'm just gonna follow and end up on top so I pull him get it go he goes here okay I follow and I submit on whichever side he goes he can even go on the other side if I miss it with my leg I'm just following and maintaining that pretzel grip it is very important to know that when you have it it's basic it doesn't uh, makes any difference if you're gonna submit in front of them with leg over on one side or on the other that the grip is so strong thank you guys